school. It's something that Chubby said. His hair is naturally gonna come back. Oh. It happens to babies, Mama. We already said that. Why are you Excuse acting me. like yesterday and today is different? No, yeah. yeah, it's gonna go when it come back. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, out of mama. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at you, look at so cutie, cutie. Mm. Good morning, good morning, Mr. Hansel. <laughs> mm. Oh, yes, good morning, too. How was your night? Um. Good. Yeah. Good. How about you talking? Mm -hmm. Are you doing baby talk already? You're responding to auntie? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Look at him like he really wants to say something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you. Yes. <laughs> huh? Excuse me? I love you. Ah! <laughs> hey, John. What Good. happened? Good. You're not working today? No, no, not today. Oh, lucky you. Sure. You going to school? Mm-hmm. You going to take garden to school? I wish. It's first lesson. I know that. Get your clothes back on, okay? So you won't be cold. Okay. I'm almost done. All right, can mommy go finish doing her makeup? This is how I'm doing my makeup now. Either feeding him or watching him. And I bought the other bassinet. So we have two bassinet. One upstairs and one downstairs. So I just rolled the downstairs one into my beauty room with him. He's like going through his growth spurt. What is that called? He's going through those like gross spurt moments. So they eat like a lot. Like I literally fed him like three times in probably an hour. And he's supposed to, not supposed to, but like two to three hours is when he's supposed to be eating. But now we just do those little, little feedings because he gets a little fussy. But other than that, honestly, he's been so, so good. And he's finally actually like sleeping in his bassinet before he just went up. And this is my breakfast today, a banana. It might look like I don't have help today, but that's not true, guys. I always have help because I have my little sister or Charlie. And also my older sister, she's sometimes here, but she goes to school and work. So she's not here as much as my little sister. And I feel like that's why it kind of seems a bit more easy and chill for me. Because I've been getting help. Like when I need to do my makeup or I need to film, my sister is here to like watch him. And then when he just needs to eat, I feed him. Uh, but today it looks like I'm doing everything myself. But that's not really what it is but i am kind of sad and of course excited for my sister but she got a job literally just recently got a job so she's gonna start working and garden is not gonna be with her as much they like bond honestly the cutest <laughs> i don't know i feel like he falls asleep easily on her than he does like on me to be honest so I'm like, oh, Garden is gonna miss his auntie because she's not gonna be at home 24 seven. All right, so I'm done with my makeup and I got dressed. I can't even film myself getting dressed because this one was being fussy. So we are feeding again before I change his clothes. 
Now I'm not baiting him today because you know I'm only supposed to bait him about twice a week. And he already got a bath like a day ago, so I'm not gonna bait him today. I know you want to sleep, but how about I get you dressed and then you can sleep? I still need to decide on what outfit to put on you today. Ugh. Let me do this one. This is going to be too big. I was thinking this. This could be cute. Yeah, and it's like very soft. October 29th it was just my birthday a day ago wait two days ago October 27th your girl turned 28 and listen okay Sam. I did not celebrate my birthday well honestly I did celebrate my birthday but in just a different way that I normally do like I just didn't do anything um because I just didn't want to do anything like I feel like we did the whole gender reveal baby shower and let's just say it gets really expensive um and also i just really didn't feel like doing anything you guys know like the whole me kind of sharing the same day as my mom's goodbye anniversary i just really didn't want to do anything so we just had a chill day like literally i was in bed the whole time but the day before we happened to be in la and i just got myself a gift and i also ordered me something else that is not here but i think i'm gonna do a video for that today is the 29th and we wanted to take some photos of baby in pumpkin him and his dad are going to do like a pumpkin photo shoot not yet but uh. so we're gonna do a little pumpkin photos with him and his dad just so he has something for his first halloween you know i'm like i don't know if it's just me but i literally want to celebrate every single thing with him because it's first time you know yeah i understand that first child always gets to experience everything for the first time and it's like so exciting <laughs> This is the one his dad is going to be wearing on his head, but it's not going to be now. I think I'm going to take some shot of him with this in the background, and then him and his dad are going to take some together. Can we do something without the mask, Charlie? Yeah, so we'll go with it. guys good morning i am 
a whole mother now. Um, so just being able to get up and just grab the camera, I can't do that as much. But I feel like I need to kind of get back to me. Me saying that, I feel like for some people might be like, girl, you just had a baby. You need to slow down. You need to chill. And you know what? That is absolutely true. But I'm just that type of person that I just feel like if I'm not doing something, I'm failing in life, which is kind of crazy. But that's just how my mind is. Like, I just need to be doing something. I need to be working. I know after having a baby with like the everyday job, you can be out of work for like four to six weeks and that would still be pay. But being on social media, it just is not like that. It's not like that. You can just go off and not work and think you are going to make money. If you're not working, you're not making money. And obviously, it is smart to be to save um, so that on days when you're not working, you have money that you can use. But also with that, how long can you sit on money that you have saved before you have to get your ass back? on track you know what i mean so i feel like we don't really talk about this stuff i feel it's so taboo because people just think like content creators just like got it like that especially if you make it to like a certain stage it's like oh yeah but no i have to be honest like i feel like it's not just about like me making money it's just that i for me to feel like i'm doing something productive i just feel like i have to work and I have been doing a lot of productive stuff, like just getting to know my son. I'm getting to understand having a child. It's not an easy thing. And I feel like every single day I am learning something um, that is kind of giving me more confidence in taking care of my child, which is amazing. Because when I tell you guys the first two days of having my baby, it was so scary because I just didn't know what to do. But now I feel like oh she's really becoming a mother she is becoming a mother she knows how to do she knows the the cues of like when baby's crying what baby needs is it changing is it just discomfort is it hunger like i understand that language now and i'm like wow i cannot believe that i am here now to say like I understand those things so that's pretty cool I would say that's probably the most productive thing ever um, but Halloween was yesterday and today is the first day of November and that's crazy to me that the year is literally over I feel like every single year I make like a, a resolution to be more productive and to take my craft very serious which is like my content creating me starting a clothing line you guys know i started my clothing line you had just haven't heard anything much about it i feel like i didn't really do a great job promoting and also the clothing itself i'm not very proud of it i was at first but i just feel like with the people that i went with for production they did me really dirty so i'm sitting on like a bunch of stuff right now that i honestly did not sell and i poured so much money into it and i'm just at loss of what i put in but that is not going to stop me from still like moving forward because i really really have a passion for fashion and i want to create my own line um but i just feel like i just needed to take some time um and also hire people to teach me and for me to learn um before just like putting something out and just being a little smarter so that is what i just kind of feel like i took this year off i was just like i'm not gonna produce anything else i'm just gonna take the time to you know really get it together some people might say like no you don't you know what i mean but for my own mental i feel like if i don't get it together my mental health is going to be in shamble but if i'm working on getting it together and i'm seeing the production not pr production but like the productiveness of it i just feel like i'll be in a better state than if i'm not doing anything um so i just uh... oh i'm not talking too much I, I don't like when my videos are too long i don't know if you guys like those but i just like to actually talk to you guys you know what i mean i feel like it's been so long 
but yeah so i just want to get it together um and really start like sourcing out people i feel like i said i was going to do that this entire year just kind of study and, and i didn't do it so i'm not very happy with myself um so i need to kind of get it together close to the end of this year but anyway i'm so excited i got this partnership y'all um that i'm doing with winers brothers um winer bros is it winer brothers or winer bros but it's with the color purple which is super exciting um i never watched a movie before but i've heard about it for so long uh you would have thought i watched it all my life i has to fight you would have thought i watched that movie but i actually didn't but i got this opportunity that came where i'm going to be doing a content for social media for them um to promote the movie and you know just let people know that it's going to be in theater and my concept well i just talked to my cousin about what my concept is it's going to just be within the fashion um world so basically what would you wear to the movies and they want me to do something with purple so i'm thinking about creating three different looks based on kind of like the characters and how i connect with the character but now i barely have purple stuff in my closet so i'm just going to look and see what i have in my closet and what i need to go pick up i think i might go to a showroom and pick some stuff up These are all the purple stuff I have in my closet. I'm kind of surprised that I even have this much um, because to be honest, I don't remember even wearing all this purple and I definitely haven't worn this shoe since I got it. It's been just worn in my house. Um, I still couldn't just, I just couldn't figure out how to style this yet. Um, and then the sweater I got from Zara recently, but it does have purple. So the looks that I'm going to do do not have to all completely be purple. It just needs to have like, you know, a bit of purple in it. I know for sure one of the pieces I want to use is this, but I don't know for which character I'm going to use. Because I feel like this is like, I don't know, something about leather just seems so empowering, especially the silhouette of design. This is from the brand Hanifa. And yeah, it's just gorgeous. This is also from another black designer. This is Kai Collective. I love her pieces. But yeah, so I just need to figure out the looks. I'm really just super, super excited about this opportunity that I'm getting to create this content for Winer Brothers and Color Purple. Um, it's truly a dream come true. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see how the content turns out. Your favorite auntie, your favorite auntie, your favorite auntie, your favorite auntie. Right, Papa? Okay. I am running around in this house trying to get things done and I completely forgot that I have my first doctor appointment since giving birth. So it's been, what, six weeks? So I'm going to go see my doctor today. I'm so excited to actually see her um she is like the sweetest person ever so um i'm gonna take little man with me but i just got done pumping and look guys ah yeah if you follow me on instagram you know that obviously i am celebrating this much pump that i can get out because when i tell you at the beginning 
I could barely pump an ounce of milk and it took me forever to even get the little that I get. So now I am um, pumping about three um, ounces and that is as much as he eats now, like three ounces every single time we do feed him. Feed him. So I still do, I breastfeed him, I pump and I also do give him formula. Um, so, so yeah, we do all the nines and it makes me so happy right now that I am producing this much and I know as we go, uh, I will produce even more. I don't know if I'm ever going to be an over producer where I have just extra amount of milk that I can even store and freeze. I doubt if that's ever going to happen to me. I've tried pretty much everything. I tried the lactation cookies, which I need to get another one because I really liked it and it was like a good way to snack without eating all the extra junks. So I actually have a few things that I've been taking to help me produce more milk. One of the first one is the lactation cookies. I got this from Amazon and it's actually really delicious. It's pretty much oat milk and they do have chocolate in here so i was snacking through these i didn't even realize i finished it so i need to order me another one and then for drinks i have been trying this one is from the brand Grita dan and they have it in different flavor and it's not super sweet um it's just kind of like water to be honest with a bit of flavor and that is supposed to be helping with lactation but honestly i just feel like i kind of take the drink and the cookies to also help with me not bench eating on junk food because I feel like I've been craving junk food. So it's kind of helping. And then the other thing that I've taken just once is the mother's milk and this is um, lactation tea. And I just don't drink tea as much. I used to love to drink tea, but I don't drink it as much. So I need to give this a try even more. But yeah, so that is what I've been taking to help me produce. I'm not really sure if I would be or would not be producing as much as I am right now with the lactation or maybe it's just the baby. The more that's eating, the more that I'm producing. I don't know if they really do help, but in my mind, I think they help. So yeah. Good morning. So we are on our way to an event that play, I was about to say playlist, that Baby's List is having. And it's kind of like a family and Baby Bjorn. It's Baby Bjorn, right? Is that baby what Baby Bjorn. It's like Bjorn. Baby Bjorn? Bjorn. B-O. Baby Bjorn. B no, the O is kind of like a crew. Bjorn. So how do you say it? Baby Bjorn. Baby Bjorn? Bjorn. I, it's Bjorn. not Baby Bjorn. <laughs> Baby Bjorn. I don't think so. Baby Bjorn. Anyway, so we are heading to that event. It is super early in the morning. Well, at least for me. Um, the event starts at 10 a.m. to 12. And right now it is 9.50. We are running about 30 minutes late because of late traffic. Okay? It's freaking ridiculous. But, yeah, this is going to be our first, like family social media event if you would say um so yeah right yeah it is right yeah yeah a little first you know me being a content creator i feel like obviously all the events that i've been to it's been kind of like makeup related and stuff so this is the first like family related kind of event which is pretty cool and there's this other event too that I have I think on the 4th I don't know if I'm gonna go to that one but that is with Bloomingdale and that one is for moms for modern moms they call it so it's kind of interesting how I am slowly like getting into that world of family mother stuff so yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm actually using this camera called the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And it's basically the tiniest little camera. I'm gonna post a picture here. Um, this is my first time using it, so I don't know what the um, sound the sounds like. 
Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, and then the camera like stays, it stays stable because it's like on a gimbal. And you guys know gimbal kind of like controls the shakiness. So I could be moving and the camera is still going to kind of like, it's not going to be shaky. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's my first time using it. I don't know what the video or the sound is going to sound like. I'm testing it out today for this vlog. So we're going to see if it sounds good. <laughs> Grown-ups too? 